What is up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be going over bounty hunting and how it has changed with the new reputation system implemented in 312. My name is Eternal Pain and if you like staying up to date with Star Citizen's development, ship reviews, and just overall tips and tricks guides on how to survive in the verse, you've come to the right place. So consider subscribing so you don't miss any more of my videos. So along with the implementation of Reputation V1, we have a change to how bounties are accepted and done in Star Citizen. I don't have any footage of it here, but when you first start doing bounties in 312, you have to pay a fee in order to get your so-called bounty hunter license. The fee starts out at 500 AUEC and currently the one that I just got costs 2,500. I like the change to bounty hunting. It gives you something to work for because when you get up into the higher tiers of bounties, you get around 11,500 AUEC. And if you increase your reputation with the associated security force, whether it be Hurston, Crusader, whatever, you gain bonuses on top of those bounty payouts. Now, a couple things I think could be improved with the current bounty system is bringing back some of the features of the old bounty system. Uh, currently, when you show up to a rendezvous point and you actually go for your bounty, you have to wait sometimes three minutes just for your bounty to show up in the area. And when they do show up, it's the one ship by itself for starters. If you wait around for a minute after you kill that initial ship, then you'll have anywhere from two to four more spawn depending on the level of bounty that you have accepted. There are different levels of bounties instead of different crime stats. Uh, it goes from very low risk to low risk to medium risk on up to higher risk and you get higher payouts for obviously higher risk bounties. I like the increase in the payouts because the bounties that I'm currently doing, I get 7,500 per bounty and that's just for killing the one bounty. If I wait around for the other ships to spawn and I have a call to arms accepted, I can make even more off of each bounty. Currently having to take three to five minutes per bounty, I can make, I don't know, about 80K per hour if I do them consecutively. And I'm sure that hourly rate will increase as I go up through the tiers in the new bounty system. I wish that all of the ships would spawn at the same time like they used to because it would not only give me a greater challenge, it would also be a little quicker and the bounties would be a little more rewarding if you didn't just have the single ship and then have to wait around another minute for everything else to spawn. Another welcomed improvement to the bounty hunting system is the variety of ships that you can expect to encounter during bounties. I've had to fight anything from a buccaneer all the way up to a freelancer at the moment and I've I've had the Eclipse appear, a Cutlass Black, even an Aurora and uh, that is a welcomed improvement to the bounty hunting system with the variety of ships that they throw at you now. Overall, in my opinion, I think that if you wanted to pursue the bounty hunting career now, it's worth it in a sense of progression but you may be waiting around a couple of minutes each time you accept a bounty and honestly i think some players will get bored just having to wait around for a bounty to show up and uh i'm not quite sure what tier you have to be to accept player bounties but at the moment i have not had any player bounties pop up in my list as with the rest of the community i think that 312 was just rushed out a little too soon and they could have polished it just a little more before releasing it. I understand that they wanted to get things released before they took a break for Christmas, but honestly, I believe a majority of the community would agree with me that I could have waited until after Christmas and the new year to get 312 out. I would rather have a complete update instead of just 
and some people might hate me for saying this, a polished turd. Now, I'm not saying that everything in 312 is bad. I do like the addition of the refinery decks and the gas clouds, the nice aesthetics that they have, but I think the bounty system could have used a little bit more love, just a little bit, because as it stands right now, it's profitable but it's not necessarily fun i've always been a fan of ship to ship combat in star citizen it's uh one of the things that drew me into the game that partnered with the just the overall beauty of the game it it's fun <laughs> but when you go to do a bounty and only one ship pops up and then you have to wait like two minutes just for the rest of the ships to pop up it's uh it's kind of annoying because if you've got that call to arms, like I said before, you're going to have to wait around for everything else to come after you kill the initial bounty, in which case it would just be more worth your time to kill that first ship, accept a new bounty, and then go wait on that bounty to show up because nobody wants to just sit and wait around for a little while. And the only time that I actually enjoy waiting around for a bounty is when it is in fact a player bounty because there's something about that game of cat and mouse with another player i don't care what the payout is at that point i don't even care if i spend an hour chasing another player it's just fun because you never really know what they're gonna do a lot of the time they might run but that's part of the fun of it is chasing them down let me know what you guys think down in the comments uh do you think they could polish the bounty system a little more do you think it takes too long for the ships to spawn when you finally get to the point that you're at. Do you think the progression takes too long to get up to the higher levels of bounty hunting? Or do you think that it should just go back to the way it was with the crime stats one through four? Let me know down in the comments. I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions. Hopefully at some point CIG shows the bounty hunting system just a little bit more love and it becomes a complete gameplay loop instead of just the patched together gameplay that we have right now. My name has been Eternal Pain and if you haven't yet consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you guys for watching and above all else remember to have a wonderful day. I will see you guys next time in the verse.